Who are you wearing? Also, who cares? This episode's all about clothing and clothes and shirts and pants and all kinds of stuff. This is Trivia with Buds. What it be? And welcome to another episode of the Trivia with Buds podcast. I'm your host, Ryan Buds. If you play trivia and live in Southern California, oh man, do I have a treat for you. It's me hosting at a bunch of different places. You can come check out all my live trivia nights by going to TriviaWithBuds.com. It's brand new, it's redesigned, and it's easy to navigate. Click on Trivia Locations and see where I'm at and come win some prizes with me. Some of the prizes we give away are things like gift cards or bar tabs to the bar or brewery that I'm hosting trivia at. And then for second and third, I usually have stuff like t-shirts and posters and bendable toys from my friends at NJ Croce and all kinds of cool stuff. So if you like winning stuff, if you like uh, drinking beer and uh, hanging out with friends and answering trivia questions, come play with me. This is my daily podcast. It comes out every single day. And it's always on a different topic. Today's topic is all about clothing. And this is from a round that I prepared for the seniors that I host trivia for. But I thought, hey, this has uh, got some good questions in it. Let's see how the podcast audience likes it. So I got 11 questions for you on different types of clothing and accessories and things like that. I'm not a huge fashion-centric guy. If you've ever seen me, I'm usually wearing jeans and a t-shirt like uh, my entire life. I remember when I was a kid, I went through a phase where I wore like, um, <laughs> like the I, I called them swishy pants. They were like the, I guess, warm up pants. Uh, if you played sports, um, basketball, especially, but those were super popular in the nineties. I feel like kind of like the track jacket pants. And, uh, I used to just wear really baggy track jacket pants and like oversized t-shirts to school. And, uh, I remember I, sometimes I couldn't find mine. I'd be like, I'll just wear my brother's. And he was six sizes bigger than me. So I'd have like the, the waistband would be tightened so tight. I looked like, you know, like, uh, some deflated MC hammer type guy, but it was, um, I've just never been into like, Ooh, how do I look? Do I look good? I hope, hopefully I look good. I do look at myself in the mirror before I go out and I give myself a look like you did it, but <laughs> I don't know if it looks good or not. It's mostly just like you put on clothes, go start your day. Uh, my wardrobe consists mostly of wrestling t-shirts these days. Today I'm wearing a lining Kugels t-shirt. If you like summer shandy, that's what I'm representing uh, with this shirt. And uh, I do miss it. They have it out here on the West Coast, but it's more of a, you know, Midwest uh, Milwaukee brewed kind of a thing. All the Lining Kugels brand beers. So this shirt reminds me of home to a degree. I think that's what shirts do. They remind you of something or, uh, you know, uh, some memory or something like that. I like a lot of vintage shirts. I just got one from RT Rogers, which is a brewery I host at Sierra Madre. California every Thursday, eight to 10. And it's a green one with yellow writing on it. And it's got their logo and it's got these little like elves brewing beer. So that's my newest shirt. I'm very excited about it. Tell me about your newest shirt in a tweet at Ryan Buds. If you got a good one, let me know. And if you want to support uh, a fellow podcast, go check out the brand new shirt from Breaker and Bane. They have a show called Breaker and Bane's Power Hour. If you like wrestling and pop culture and hot sauce and different challenges and weird sodas and things, they do it all. And they're good buddies of mine. They have a really cool shirt out where they are like pop vinyl figures someone designed for them. And uh, I think I'm going to pick up that shirt myself very soon. Thank you guys for checking out this episode. We're going to jump into 11 questions on clothing right about now. Here we go. All right, 11 questions on clothing. Let's see how you do. Question number one, what print is usually made up of different colored diamonds? Number one, what print is usually made up of different colored diamonds? We're talking clothing, we're talking fashion, and in this question, we're talking prints. What print is usually made up of different colored diamonds? Question number two, devised by the Duke of Wellington, the Wellington blank was used by cavalry. That's a hard word for me to say, so I'm surprised I said it okay. Number two, devised for the Duke, devised by the Duke of Wellington, the Wellington blank was used by cavalry. Number two, you're filling in that blank, the Wellington blank. Question number three, Capri pants are named after an isle off the coast of what country? Number three, Capri pants are named after an isle off the coast of what country? Number three, number three. 
Question number four, what basketball player released his first Nike shoes in 1984 to great success? Number four, what basketball player released his first Nike shoes in 1984 to great success? Number four. Question number five for clothing. When shopping, what three hyphenated words might give you the best deal in the fall? Number five. When shopping, what three hyphenated words might give you the best deal in the fall? Three hyphenated words. Number five. Number five. Halfway through this round on clothing. Hopefully you're doing well. Hopefully you know some of these answers. Number six, Whitcomb L. Judson from Chicago invented what fasteners that we use daily? Number six, Whitcomb L. Judson, what a name that is, from Chicago invented what fasteners that we use daily? Number six. Question number seven, what Danish author wrote The Emperor's New Clothes? Number seven, what Danish author wrote The Emperor's New Clothes? Question number eight, what type of collar is named after a literary character who never wanted to grow up? Number eight, what type of collar is named after a literary character who never wanted to grow up? Question number nine, what brand of luxury purses started in 1941? Back in 1941, what brand of luxury purses got started? Number nine. And number 10, what brand of jeans does Walmart sell the most of? Number 10, what brand of jeans does Walmart sell the most of? Your clothing bonus question, this would be two points if you were playing along live. What is the subtitle to the department store Ross? If you go to the store Ross, what is the subtitle under the word Ross on their stores? For two points, what's the subtitle to the department store Ross? All right, those are your questions on clothing. Suit up and get ready for the answers. Here are the answers to the clothing round. Let's see how you did. Number one, what print is usually made up of different colored diamonds? Is it Dustin Diamonds? No, it's not Screech. It's Argyle. Number one, Argyle, the limo driver's name in Die Hard. Argyle, number one. Number two, devised by the Duke of Wellington, the Wellington Boot was used by Cavalry. Number two, the Wellington Boot. Number three, Capri pants are named after an isle off the coast of what country? That would be Italy. Capri is an isle off the coast of Italy. I never had Capri pants, but I did have the male version in the early 2000s, late 90s called judo pants. They were like, um, they were pants that you could like um, zip off two different sections of. So you can make the pants into shorts or you can make them into really long shorts, aka judo pants. Uh, And when I put those on, I was a judo master. Number four, what basketball player released his first Nike shoes in 1984 to great success? Of course, that was MJ, Air Jordan, Michael Jordan. Number four. Number five, when shopping, what three hyphenated words might give you the best deal in the fall? I was looking for back to school sales. Back to school. Um, you know, if you hyphenated Brack, Brack, Black Friday sale, that would kind of work, but that's not really like a hyphenated phrase they use. Back to school sale with the hyphens was what I was looking for. Number six, Whitcomb L. Judson from Chicago invented zippers. Zippers. You can thank your zipper on the fly of your jeans to Whitcomb L. Judson. Number seven, what Danish author wrote The Emperor's New Clothes? That was Hans Christian Andersen. Hans Christian Andersen, HCA, number seven. Number eight, what type of collar is named after a literary character who never wanted to grow up? Was it Jeffrey the Giraffe from... Toys R Us? No, he's not a literary character. It was Peter Pan. Peter Pan Collar. Number eight, a Peter Pan Collar. Number nine, what brand of luxury purses started in 1941? I think these can go for thousands of dollars, which is insane to me because you just put mints in it. It's Coach. Coach Purse, number nine. Number 10, what brand of jeans does Walmart sell the most of? Wrangler. Number 10, get your Wranglers at Walmart. They got a lot of different sizes for a lot of different waists over at Walmart. And for two points, what is the subtitle to the department store? Ross. It is Ross Dress for Less. You can get dressed there for a little bit less. And that's Ross. I go there sometimes when I'm looking for wrestling figures because they're on clearance. And uh, I pretend that I'm like, oh, I'm thinking I'm going to buy this shirt with a bunch of birds on it. And then I, I just put it back down. I pick up a weird shirt with a weird print and then I put it back down. That's what Ross is great for. And um, 
when you're at Ross, a lot of people do that. They just kind of throw them on the ground. That's how they do it. <laughs> that place, uh, sometimes you're wading through clothes. My favorite thing about Ross is when you walk in and there's a security guard at certain ones and they're just like, welcome to Ross. And they're just up to their knees in uh, <laughs> toys and piles of clothes. And I'm like, this seems like a safe store. They got the security guard right at the front. Uh, thanks for listening, everybody. This was all about clothing, and I hope you enjoyed it. Hopefully, you learned some stuff or you got some of these right and you feel better about your day. If there's a topic you want me to do on the show, you can always drop $5 over at patreon.com slash trivia with buds, and I will get to your topic sometime within the month. We got some great guests coming up in February. I'm just going to read a few of them to you. Jen Wojnar, she's a Patreon subscriber. She wants to do Disney movie sidekicks with a little Groot thrown in there. So I'm going to have Jen on the podcast to do that. My friend Brian Dover wants board games. Anthony Aragon wants wrestling. Simon time. We're going to do an episode where we ask each other trivia questions since he's a host in Orlando, Florida. Matt Champagne, comedian from LA, wants to do the movie Alien. So that'll be around the corner. Melinda Sue in Las Vegas wants mafia films. My friend Dave Yates has an undecided topic, but he is a full-time comedian and hot sauce salesman, so he'll be an awesome guest. Patrick Bagden from Chicago wants John Candy movies. Patrick Newson from Chicago wants The West Wing. Jason Harris from Las Vegas wants Bruce Springsteen. And Fiona Neville from uh, Central Illinois wants Grammy winners. So we'll record all those in February and post those as episodes, and my chats with all those friends and patrons will be coming up very soon. It's a fun thing for me to do this show every day, so I'm super glad you found it. Hit subscribe on your phone for a new episode on your device daily. And thanks so much for listening. Thanks for telling a friend. And we'll see you tomorrow for more trivia with buds. Cheers. 